Hello, and welcome to Embracing Disruption, DTCC's three-part video series on tapping the potential of distributed ledgers to improve the post-trade process. Today, we'd like to welcome Bob Garrison. Bob is a Managing Director and the Chief Information Officer at DTCC. He's responsible for the ongoing development, testing, and operations of all the technology that supports DTCC's post-trade infrastructure, and therefore, one of the top leaders in the firm overseeing the exploration of use cases for leveraging distributed ledger technology. Bob, thank you for joining us today. It's good to be here, Rob. Distributed ledger technology has generated an unprecedented degree of excitement in financial services in a very short amount of time. Can the technology really live up to a type? Maybe, uh, Rob, and I think that's what we're what, that's what we're going to find out. And certainly, I think uh, you know the the whole industry is looking into this, and and minds outside of the industry are certainly looking at distributed ledgers and how they can be applied not only to financial services, um, but to all all industries. So I, I think we're going to learn a lot over the over the next few years. One of the things that we have to be concerned about, though, is how does that innovation in distributed ledger technology meld with what we have for the last 40 years, which has been a very stable, efficient uh, processing platform for, for the industry. While it's not as optimized as it could be, um, it runs every day, it's very efficient, um, and that's what we need to maintain going forward as we try to build bridges um, and also leverage the, the, the technology that this distributed ledger has the potential to bring to the industry. You know, most of the people, I think, from outside the industry um, that are making claims about just how disruptive it, it can be probably don't understand some of the inner workings and challenges that the industry faces from not only the, the 40 years plus of, of what we've built, but also the regulatory environment that we have to operate in to make sure that the assets, the clients, the investments, are, are, et cetera, are safe and secure, and most importantly, are processing every, every single day. So, you know, I, I, I think we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get there eventually, but, you know, you have to keep in mind that, uh, you know, this is a very complex industry in which we operate in, and you have to take in uh, and understand some of those conf complexities to truly appreciate how some of the this distributed ledger opportunities can be taken advantage of. The, the interesting dynamic that's going on inside and outside the industry is equating the potential of distributed ledgers and its ability to disrupt finance to what Airbnb and Uber did in disrupting their industries. Uh, do you think distributed ledgers can really do that to the financial markets? We're going to find out, and my guess is we'll find out more, more quickly uh, than not. We've certainly developed a lot of use cases. I mean, you know here at DTCC we, we did an exercise where we came up with well over 25 or so use cases that we thought the industry uh, could benefit from. So, uh, and we're moving forward with, with, with a couple of those. But, but I think as we move forward, not just um, uh, DTCC ourselves, but more importantly collaborating with the industry on what some of those use cases and the potentials they, they, they have um, will we'll bring to the industry. I think that I think we'll learn probably quicker rather than later about just how disruptive this technology will be. DTCC has taken a leadership position in advancing discussions and experiments on distributed ledger solutions. Can you describe some of these activities? Some of the things that we've done is you know we formed an office of blockchain strategy and research, which is a group made made up of both technologists and uh, and business uh, people as well. We obviously issued uh, issued the white paper uh, in the January time frame, and then in March, as you know, we held our, our symposium, which was a great event, and we had a lot of expert speakers, um, and it was very well uh, attended. And, you know, most recently we've announced um, that we're doing a, uh, a pilot, shall we say, with credit derivatives. Uh, with a number of uh, number of banks and some other other firms, and then as we announced, we're we're doing work on uh, repo transactions with Digital Asset Holdings, who, as you know, we made a, a small investment in and sit sit on the board there. So a number of things that we've done, and, and the final thing I'd say, which really helped us internally, is we we created the lab uh, that technologists use now to experiment with the various flavors of the technology that exists, and so we're learning every day about how that technology works. Um, and the final thing I'd add is we did join the, uh, the Linux Foundation and are participating in the Hyperledger project, which you know is what we're trying to do is to get open source uh, distributed ledger technology that can be used more broadly by, uh, by not only our industry, but others in other industries as well. 
Bob, thank you for joining us today. We look forward to continuing this conversation with you as we advance this technology in the marketplace. Great. Thanks, Rob. And we'll learn a lot in the months ahead, so we look forward to, to coming back here. Awesome. I'm Rob Palatnik, Chief Technology Architect at DTCC. We appreciate you watching with us.